as you probably saw, I glued the edges with um, decoupage all the way around. I did the book closed um, using parchment paper to keep my pages, my covers safe. Um, and I did that like three or four times just to, you know, layers. And now I'm cutting with a Zacto or a box cutter knife. And um, I could have you know, use a Dremel or something, but um, didn't have one to use. But uh, just to tell you that if something can go uh, faster, a process that definitely can go faster with a Dremel. Here is um, a tool for carving, and I just did that. Used that for my corners to pull out the uh, ripped papers that didn't quite get cut in the corners. So this is a piece of paper I took that I circled. I traced a toonie to make that circle, cut it down so it fits in my book. I placed the matches in there. Um, as you can see, I kind of flipped the matches back and forth and made them so that I could put them right up against each other and make a nice tabletop. Using my side cutter, uh, wire cutters here just to cut the match sticks. Right there, I'm just using cardboard to try to hold it together for it to dry. Now I'm trying to make a bottom part, like a little bit of a square in, t in my table. But of course, it's only like a half a table, so I have to make a half of the bottom. So then it uh, looks like a real table. And then legs is what also I'm making. I make everything out of uh, matchsticks, and I'm using um, glue. To glue everything together, just regular tacky glue. I'm moving on to a little hand mirror, so I use a little cereal box and um, I just grab a little bit of egg carton and put a lot of, of uh, 
glue on it mixture and just get really soaked and I kind of paper mache that glue pulp that egg carton that comes pulpy um, onto the back side of the mirror to make it um, have like texture and then I place a sticker mirror inside and then paper mache it with the same stuff around my mirror. Just painting it dark umber and um, raw umber and gold on there to make the mirror really pretty. This is the pulp I made with uh, the egg carton and glue and I'm just breaking it up and that's how I made the mirror paper mache the mirror and I'm just using a little bit more to um, add to the front I have a little mirror sticker on there but I have I want to have a little edge on there around the front so it's flat and I want to put a little lip and then paint it to match the rest of it so that's why I'm doing that but um, you didn't see me mix this before so I left it in there there's my sticker of a mirror and I'm just gonna place that all around and make shape like it is in a little bit of a lip around the mirror to make it look authentic.
So what I have to do is pin it up and I didn't have sewing pins so I used tacks and I used um, staples. Just took them apart hand took them apart and then stapled use the staples as little pins. It was kind of tedious but I did that's what I had to do because I couldn't find my sewing needles. I'm also adding um, glue, glitter to it as well, and um, some some uh, different uh, shine, shiny stuff, glitter, and all that kind of stuff, just to make it really nice for my altered book. And then I let that dry. I actually did help it with the blow dryer. Um, I did have it on my number one, which didn't burn the material or anything. It just really dried it out. It was like warm air, and that's what I did. Here I want to add a little bit more pleats, so I just use tacks to uh, hold that together and re-wet it and all that kind of stuff. And there it goes. That's how it went. Now I'm just getting Cora's help with tassels just to hold, but um, yeah, I'm making a little tassel for the curtain. I also make a couple for my little puppy uh, chair in a little bit. The next project is this little tube here for beads, sea beads. I am cutting that down and um, that is my next project. I ended up having to use kind of a kitchen knife. I thought if I heat it up that would help. Nope. I ended up using a kitchen knife that had kind of more of a toothy um, saw type of tooth thing and that worked really perfectly fine. Then I sanded it down with my files to make it even so it could sit on the table properly.
The next part is making the rows. So I have a green wire here and I just cut kind of little circle shapes. They're not really round, but and I just melted this silk um, red material into a flower and um, did individual, put individual pieces on and just melted them down a bit or anyways it just kind of melted them down made them look like a little bit of a rose shape and stuff like that so that it worked and um, I really liked it then I just wound up the um, um, wire and put it underneath the glass faux glass that I made And I put some glue and bling, like glitter stuff on there, and it looked really great. So that was that. I put a little bead on the top as well and added more glitter on top. And then glued it to my table. Next is my puppy chair. I had my mirror there for a second to see the size. I wanted something big enough to hold my mirror up. My table was just too small for the rose and the mirror, so I decided to do the puppy stool. Actually, it's called the stool. I don't think it was um, a chair. It was either an ottoman or a stool. But, um, yeah, I put a little bit of fleece stuff in there, and I just glued the whole thing and um, had to use a lot of material here, but um, I was having trouble with it, and I was just on my fly, on the fly thinking, and working it and that's why this is not a tutorial because there's no way like I could show you I'm totally would be showing you the wrong way of doing it this is a way you kind of just craft and you work with it what you got and you think yourself through it whereas if I were to do another one with a tutorial I would totally have the plan made out ahead of time like um, figure out this was just figuring it out and playing with it as I go and that's the difference between having a tutorial to show someone how to do it. And this is, I'm trying to show myself how to do it at this point. But I really want to record it to show you guys my process and how I was playing with it and stuff. Now at the bottom I wanted to put uh, matchsticks as the bottom of my stool. I ended up having to pull a couple out and curl my stool a little bit because it was too um, big for my book. But that's the whole fun part of just building and figuring out what's going on. So it was way too big. So I ended up pulling the two end pieces of the matchsticks out. And uh, there's that one and the other one and going around my stylus just to shape it and that worked really well and it looked made it look even more authentic like little puppy stool guy so it really made the character of that little stool come to life for me I tried to tape it to hold it I ended up uh, with the long matchsticks in there I just used that to tie I just tied uh, the 
the floss, the embroidery floss around there. Since I already wrapped the embroidery floss um, around the center of the guide and design, it didn't make a difference anyways if I added it and just tied it really tight to um, keep it closed. And that's how I held it together. <laughs> couple more embroidery um, floss pieces here. I had to do a couple of these tassels. So for the front and the tail, front part of the little puppy stool and the tail just didn't look right without it. And the character in the cartoon had um, one on each end and I just really wanted it there. So I did. I put them there and I think they, they turned out really cute. I did paint, paint the matchsticks brown and then I added a little bit of gold dust to the ends to make it look like little cloak gold um, you know, little puppy feet or the claw chairs and that kind of design anyways, just to, it, it kept, kind of tricks your eye to thinking that it's like the stool has the little claws like in the, in the movie. Now we're into the part of the book where I'm placing all this stuff in. I lose a whole bunch of filming because my camera turned off. But I put the book, this bookshelf that I made behind there. I have to make another video to show you guys how I made this on foam board. Um, but um, So that will be a separate video because I didn't make it a video for that. I did it in the middle of the night and the idea came to my head. So I put pushed the foam board in there and then I soaked these... Um, drink trays pieces that are ripped into pieces in glue and just paste them on just as I did individually all the way around. I do paint the rocks after. They were still wet when I'm painting but um, normally when you're crafting you let them dry and then you paint but because I was doing a live stream with Nikki um, you could check that out in International Crafters um, and if you do subscribe because that's Nikki's and uh, myself um, we do live streams and we're doing this um, series on this book and so we'll have part one two and three and then the book should be done but anyway so I want it to look like stonework like a castle all the way around and that was my my the feel I wanted so that's what I was doing
So this is it done, um, put together. And I mean, like I said, the camera turned off and I missed putting, gluing everything in. Um, but you saw me put everything together and then this is just me painting around it to make it look like part of the brick wall or something. Uh, I put uh, a lot of gold in here and you'll see that more gold but this is it and I'm sorry about missing so much footage and I'm sorry it wasn't uh, more educational but I really did want to share with you guys my process it's a very long video and I sped through this quite a bit so um, I just don't like doing parts because for me when I do parts and I go back and I look at what people are watching they're not watching the different parts so that's why I don't try not to do parts on my YouTube channel um, so that's why I stuck it all together even though it was just over a 30 minute video thanks friends for watching and I hope you enjoyed this make if you want to see it made um, at least put together the uh, book you can check it out on real time on international crafters uh, it does <laughs> the first uh, we were ch chatting a lot and, and stuff like that so you'll hear all the chat and um, you know, it did take us two hours just to cut into the book, never mind adding the other stuff. So I think it was an hour or so with the other stuff, or an hour and a half. But um, it was fun. So if you ever do want to join in on the, on the, the live shows, uh, they are awesome. And there are a lot of chats, and we do share, you know, things and stuff like that. So I hope you guys do check us out on International Crafters. Um, I'll have my link for that down below and also my partner Nikki Parr's link below so you guys can check her YouTube out channel out and like I said our channel together as well we have international crafters on Facebook and on YouTube so um, yeah you can check us out on, on uh, Facebook as well thanks friends for watching bye bye